Hey, Bruce here with the 5-Minute Handyman. Uh, I want to talk just a little bit about um, painting equipment, um, rollers, trays, and paint cans. Uh, let me show you some of the hardware and we can talk about it. Well, what I've got here is I've got a 5-in-1 um, tool for, uh, for painting. Uh, these are very, very handy. Um, they have a, uh, an edge here that you can use to scrape on the wall. Uh, there's a, um, a point here which um, I'll show you what that's used for on the, on the paint can. Um, and then there's this half moon that's on here. And once you're done painting and your roller is um, ready to be emptied, uh, you can either clean this roller or you can throw it out. Uh, so depending on the quality of roller that you're going to use, but this paint tool, um, and, and notice how much paint comes off of this roller. Uh, on a standard 9-inch roller, there is um, quite a bit of paint that is loaded inside of the, the nap of the roller. And that's one of the reasons why I like to use a half-inch nap, because it does hold so much paint, and it gives me a good opportunity to get paint up on the wall. And so before I go ahead and clean this roller, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape it out. And uh, you can see the volume of paint that is in here. Um, and it's, it's a good idea to, to try to get as much paint back out as you can so that you can put it back in the can. And then when you have to do touch-ups or you have to do a second coat, you'll have plenty of uh, paint to do that. So um, that's, that's one Thing. The other thing I wanted to tell you was um, I like to use these covers for pouring paint so it doesn't get all over my can. And when I take this off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this just sit and dry. And then um, it'll be able to peel right off of this, this rubber. So it makes it very easy for the next time for the use. Um, for this 5-in-1 this tool, if you're going to just pour out of the paint can. Uh, what you can do is you can take this with a hammer and you can pop in a hole here so that when you when you pour it pour the paint out and you take your brush and wipe off the lip uh, any paint that is in this lip area will drip back into the can and that's a, that's a handy little thing to do. The other thing is when you open up a paint can always make sure that you stir it and not shake it. Uh, if you shake it, it's going to introduce air bubbles. Uh, when you stir it, you want to go down and up, not just in a circular motion, but you want to get from the top of the can to the bottom of the can and try to mix the paint in that, in that kind of a direction. And it'll, it'll come out nice, and you can see that the drip off of here is nice and uniform. So uh, just a couple of thoughts about paint equipment and what to do with it.